I've tested over a thousand different AI tools in the last three years, and the seven I'm about to show you in this video are unbelievable. Okay, the first one I wanna show you is part of a platform called HeyGen. And with HeyGen, you could actually clone yourself into an AI avatar. They also have a huge library of AI avatars where you could create videos. But let me show you this new option inside of the labs section here where you could go ahead and use interactive avatars right here. Okay, so what are these interactive avatars? Well, regular AI avatars look kind of like this, right? They'll have a script that you could give them and then they create these type of videos. With interactive avatars, it's the same thing except you could have a live interaction with them. So let me go ahead and chat with June right here to show you what that looks like. Hey June, what, uh, what can you help me with today? I'm here to help you with information about HeyGen and assist with any questions you have regarding the company, our engineering positions, or the application process. If you're interested in a potential job opportunity, I can also guide you through the interview process or provide details on the role. What specific information are you looking for? Oh, okay, so you are looking to hire people for HeyGen. What kind of qualifications do I need for that? For the back-end engineer position at HeyGen, you'll need the following qualifications. One, educational background. A bachelor's degree in computer science, engineering, or a related field is required. Okay, so you get the idea. You could have interactive back and forth chat with them. And if I go back to this page right over here, you could see they all do different things. You could train them based on a set of prompts that you could give them to have a very specific domain of knowledge or have a specific task. And one of the coolest part over here, you could actually create an interactive avatar of yourself. Yes, you could upload footage of yourself, clone yourself, and make that available as an interactive avatar, and even add that to your website too. That's all available here with this interactive avatar option inside of HeyGen. The next one I wanna show you is Napkin AI, and with Napkin AI, it will turn text into visual representation of ideas, like some of them that you're seeing over here. So let me jump in here. You could get started for free with Napkin. Okay, now here's a timeline that I've used ChatGPT to create over here, but maybe I wanna create a really nice graph, a timeline graph of everything that's going on over here. So what I could do is if I go to the very bottom of this page right over here and select everything, you could see I get this little icon over here. If I click this, it will generate an idea of all this text in a visual graphic down here. And in a few seconds, it's created this really nice timeline graph over here for us. And if I look on the left side, I have lots of different options available. So you could see all these different options based on how my presentation needs to look. And these could go as part of this document right here, or you could download these and insert them into another presentation app like PowerPoint. This is really nice too. Let's say I like this one, but I want a different style. I could click on it and there's a bunch of different ways, same exact information, same exact layout, but different styles that you could choose from. Actually, let's say your PowerPoint needs to be this kind of blue theme. You could select that. And now you have this as part of that. So you could click download right here. This export option lets you export as a PNG or even as a PDF. And you could do dark mode or light mode. You could even remove the background if you want to and you could upscale the resolution and just press download right here. And you could do this with individual parts. So you see, I'm just hovering over this section. Let's say I want a graph, but just for this part from 2020 to 2021, and then it's gonna create a graph just for that section with a bunch of different options again available over here. And it will save your documents like this. So on the left side, you could go back to any previous document to check it out. And you could share this document. You don't have to actually download these. This is a really nice way to present these. And with Napkin, he also does the writing for you. So if you create a new Napkin, you could just start here, draft with AI, and type in an idea. So for example, I'll just choose this one, best practice for hiring interviews, click on it, continue, and it will literally generate the entire thing for you. And then you could select any other sections or in the entire document, and then create those graphics as you need them. Now, the next one I wanna show you is something I've been using for a while. Obviously, I make a lot of how-to videos. I have 1,500 just on this channel. So this creates how-to guides using AI. It also creates SOPs, training, onboarding, all kinds of different things that you may need for work or for your personal life. This creates it automatically for you using AI. And I partnered with them for this video because I thought it fit perfectly in the list of seven AI tools that I think you really have to try for yourself. 
and it's a Chrome extension. So I un uninstalled it here to show you the installation process. It's very simple. I just need to add the Chrome extension here. Now I just need to go up here and pin that Chrome extension so it shows up right over here. And I increased the size of my screen so you can see a little bit better here. And here is your library of anything you've created previously. But let me show you exactly how I use it because you technically don't have to use it here, although you can create and capture directly from here. I'm gonna use the Chrome extension. And here's what I wanna document for my team. I wanna show them the right way to upload YouTube videos so someone from my team could actually handle the uploading process. There is a ton of different steps to uploading a YouTube video the right way. A lot of people don't do it the right way. So I'm gonna go ahead and click right over here and I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. So this is gonna be how to upload YouTube video. And I'm gonna choose this option right here as employee training. Now at this point, I don't have to say anything. I'll just kind of walk you through it, but it's pretty straightforward. It will start capturing all the different steps exactly where to click. So to upload a YouTube video, I'm gonna press create. I'm gonna press upload. I'm gonna choose the file from my computer here. The description, I wanna go ahead and type out a description next. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add my thumbnail over here. Then no, not made for kids. So I wanna make sure that is selected. This is not a sponsored video. Alter content, no. Let's go to the next page. And you can see up here, this is just five different pages over here that I have to go through. Every time you wanna make sure monetization on. Add suitability, I need to go down, click this. This is pretty much what I have to do every single time. So this documentation will cover that. And then I wanna leave it unlisted so someone could double check it before we go ahead and change it to public. So save that. Okay, now I'm gonna click the little extension over here to stop it. Okay, and as soon as it's done processing, I got myself an entire how-to video here, two minutes and 10 second how-to video. And before I press play, what I wanna show you is how-to videos are nice, but a nicer thing to go along with a how-to video is a step-by-step -step guide that someone could visually follow along with screenshots. This is getting multiple different outputs depending on how people wanna consume the information. So maybe they'll go through the step-by-step -step guide instead and then only watch the how-to video if they get stuck and need to see more of an explanation. And this will jump directly to that portion of the video. So here was the intro. Let me go to step two. It says click here. And you can see it's created this nice visual arrow for us. And if you ever made a mistake and you click something that you shouldn't have, you could simply delete that one slide. You can see all the steps here that I covered are on the left side. So any of them could be deleted and any of them could be modified. So if I press this edit sign right here, I could change the title. I could even crop or edit the visuals that it created for us. So this will take us directly to here and I could really dial this in. So you could spend 10 minutes creating one of these or you could spend maybe 30 minutes and really fine tuning this, especially if you're doing SOPs for work. Those take quite a long time to do manually. This obviously helps you do it a lot better and with a lot better visuals too. And they also have an option for a brand kit, which is really useful if you're doing this for work, you want a consistent brand across all your how-to videos and your SOPs. I'll have a link in the description to guide where you could try it for free for yourself. If you do this kind of work, it's gonna save you a ton of time. Now this next one I've also used for a long time, a huge time saver. And this one basically has replaced the need for using PowerPoint for me. This will create presentations using AI. So you could create a new presentation in three different ways. You could simply paste text. You could generate from a single text prompt or you could import directly from a file. Let's say you just designed a PowerPoint file, but it doesn't look very good. Well, you could add it over here and it will take care of the rest. You could even add a URL. Right now, let me go ahead and do this one. I'm gonna give a presentation around creator's guide to building a community around the brand. So I'm gonna generate from here. Okay, what it does is it outlines our entire guide for us. So you can see it's going through that process first. Then it's asking us to pick a theme. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this theme right over here. This is one of my favorite themes. The images, I could either upload images myself. I could choose web images. In this case, I'm gonna have the AI generate the images. And then I'm gonna go ahead and generate from here. And it's gonna create eight cards for us. So the free version will give you some limitation on the number of cards, but it's pretty generous. But if you upgrade, then you will have as many cards as you need in the presentations. And if you come from PowerPoint, cards are basically each slide is a card. Okay, and look at this. This is literally right in front of you creating that entire presentation from a single text prompt and it's writing everything, it's designing everything, it's generating the images, it's creating graphs. Let me go towards the top because you can see these are all AI generated images that is creating for us. 
And I'm just showing you in real time, by the way. It's already done. This whole thing is just creating the last image here on the left side. Look at that. That all happened in real time right over here. But what's really interesting about this is it's really easy to edit it. So if I select any image, for example, I could go ahead and choose a different image. So I could just go ahead and edit this image. Here's the prompt that generated that image for us. It created that on its own. I could change that if I want. And I could upload my own images. So under this dropdown, I could search for the web. Let's say I don't like the AI generated ones. I could search some on the web over here. But if I don't like the layout, I could also select the whole slide, click this, and just kind of change the layout. Let's say I want to flip those two. You could see very quickly, you could go ahead and do that. You could even remove it or change the layout entirely that way. And then when you're done going through all your slides, making sure everything is good, you could go ahead and do two things. You could present it directly from here, which looks really nice. This is actually what it looks like over here. And then you could go through the slideshow and all the animations that are there. So you could share your screen, you're ready to present. Or another option you have is you could click this drop down over here and you could go ahead and share the link so someone could follow that link. And one of my favorite options is if you are creating this for someone else and they're used to using PowerPoint, well, I usually go to export and I export this as a PowerPoint or a PDF for them. So they don't even have to learn how to use Gamma at all if they don't want to use it. Obviously, I pretty much showed you how to use it in this quick section of this video, but these are some other options that you have available and you could publish it to a website and then share the link and it has all the animation, it has all the slides, it's just a regular looking website and that's really powerful too. Okay, the next one I wanted to show you turns a simple text prompt into a very high quality music track. This is called Refusion. This one recently came out. It's one of my favorite AI text to music generators. And then you could type in a text prompt. If you're not really sure what to type, you could also click this random and get a bunch of different ideas. You could choose if you just want instrumental or if you want lyrics to go along with that. And then all you have to do is press generate right over here. And while it's generating, let me go ahead and click this one that I've already created. The fact that that is AI generated is just still mind blowing to me. Let me click on this new one that just got created. Three minutes and 17 seconds song. Past midnight, just me in these pages. Coffee's getting cold again. Okay. And you could see on the right side too, you could go ahead and remix this over here. You could publish it so other people could find it. And you could see the entire lyrics over here that is created for us. And you could always go to the homepage, listen to other people's creation over here and get some ideas for your prompt or the mood of the type of music you wanna go ahead and create here with Refusion. Okay, this next one is not new, but it's still one of my favorite AI tools I've tested out in the last two years. It's called Notebook LM and it's from Google and it's a much better way to take and organize your notes. So this is my library here, and all you have to do is create a new note over here, and you could upload any type of source here to start your note. That could be a PDF you already have, a text document, even a link to a website or a YouTube video. Okay, I'm gonna take this link from my other video, and we'll paste it over here, and we'll insert it. And with the free accounts, you could have 50 different sources inside of every single notebook and you could have a ton of different notebooks. So the notebooks could be organized around the very specific topic. Let's say I was just creating a notebook about my favorite AI tools. Well, here's a source for one of them. Then I could have 49 other sources, including websites, including YouTube videos, including PDFs to really build this out over here. And I'm gonna jump into one that I've kind of built out just to show you what it ends up looking like. Here's one about market trends. I have a bunch of different research I've done on it. With each one, I've turned them into these notes. And what I could do now is in the middle of it, I could interact with the note. I could ask it what's the key points of this research right here. And it's gonna go ahead and go through all these different links, PDFs and YouTube videos. And it's gonna give me a summary just right over here in one click. 
On the right side, you could always click on the briefing doc and it creates an entire briefing doc. It's about two to three pages. And these are actually super good. This is not just some AI creating something that doesn't make sense. It uses all our sources at any time. You could press add source to even add more to it. And this is one of the craziest part. I'm going to show you a few seconds of this because you could turn your entire source, even if it's fictional books, into a interactive podcast. So I'm gonna load that to show you that. This is a 26 minute AI generated podcast between two people. Here's what it sounds like. Welcome to your deep dive into what's coming in retail for 2025. We're gonna help you get ready for some big retail decisions. Oh yeah. Whether you're thinking of launching a new product, maybe you wanna explore some investing opportunities, or hey, even if you just wanna be like the most informed shopper out there, Mm -hmm. We got you covered. We pulled together a ton of stuff. We got expert interviews, uh, market research reports, customer feedback, wow. financial data. We got it all. So it's going to be quite a year. It's going to be a big year. Yeah. OK, how cool is that? And it has an interactive mode. So you could go to interactive mode and interrupt this podcaster and they'll answer you based on this information here. Something I showed you in the beginning with Hey Jen. Well, this is something you could do kind of the same thing, but with an interactive podcast. And this next one on my list just came out, but it's just one of the most impressive tools I've ever seen. Okay, so I'll show you with this one. I gave it a prompt. I said, create a list of 50 practical AI tools for business, order them one to 50 and add ranking factors and scores and give me links for each one. Okay, it created this research for us, which by the way, you could share with a simple link and this is playing right now. This is kind of a recap of it. It usually takes like 30 minutes. It goes through all these different websites. It could actually control the website. So if there is a text field, it will type it out and it's creating itself an entire list of tasks and it's completing the tasks and checking them off. It's an entire checklist that it has to go through. And let me go ahead and skip to the result here at the end. Okay, at the very end, if I click this right on top, these are all the different documents that it created for us. So it created this to-do list, which this is what it looks like. All these different research it did across different tools in different categories. It sometimes creates code files, it creates links, images. And at the end of this, this is exactly what I got. The top 50 AI tools ranked from one to 50 with a score that it created a whole system on how to score these, added different categories, and then I could scroll through this. This is incredible, a resource I wanted to add to my website. And now that's created this whole thing automatically for us. Thanks again for Guide for sponsoring this video. All the links are listed below this video so you could test it out for yourself. And I also created a video showing you to top 50 AI tools in a single video. So I'll go ahead and link that here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.